In this lesson, continuing from Algebra 2, lesson number 17, I'm going to show you how to factor trinomials using the shortcuts, especially when the coefficient of x squared is not 1. If you want to learn the proper way or why factoring works, then I recommend that you look at or review lesson number 17 first before you look at this lesson. Again, this lesson shows you how to get to the answer or factor the trinomials quickly as possible without going the proper steps. Well, let's begin. Here we have a trinomial, 6x squared plus 17x plus 12. Notice that 6 has 4 different factors and 12 has 6 different factors, meaning with that 6 in the front, there are 6 ways this trinomial can be factored. And with the 12 in the back, Notice we have 12 and 1, 6, 2, 3, and 4. And another way is that instead of having the 6 and 1, it could also be 3 and 2 while keeping the 12, 1, 6, 2, 4, and 3. So you could try and multiply all 6 or 12 of these to find the one that gives you 6x squared plus 17x plus 12 or use this method. All right, take the 6, multiply to the 12, meaning take the coefficient of x squared, multiply to the c value, or the one with just a number. Where 6 times 12 is 72. Now, in order to get 72, there are 6 different ways to get a product of 72. 1 and 72, 4, 18, 2, 36, 6, 12, 3, 24, and 8. And 9. Of the 6, if we add the 8 and the 9, we end up with the 17. So if we factor this right here, we end up with x plus 8 times x plus 9. We're not done, of course. Remember that 6 that we multiplied to the 12 and got rid of from the front of x squared? It's now time to divide the 8 and the 9 that we have by that same 6. And if you reduce 8 over 6 and 9 over 6, we end up with 4 over 3 and 3 over 2. And our final step is to take that denominator 3, put it in front of the x, and also that 2 in front of the x, where we end up getting 3x from that 3 right there, plus 4, that 4 that we had earlier, times 2x, again that 2 that we put in the front is here now, plus the 3 that we had in the numerator as the final answer or factored form of this complicated looking trinomial. In my other video called Cool Way to Factor, I've had many people ask why the method, the shortcut method that I just showed you, does not work on a trinomial such as this. Notice that we're able to factor out a constant term 3 from the 24, 6, and 9. In such cases, the 3 needs to be factored out to the front first, like this, and then factor what's in the parentheses. In this case, if we factor out a 3 from the 24, we end up with 8. And then factor out a 3 from 6, we get a 2. And factor out a 3 from 9, we end up with a 3. So what we want to do is factor what's in the parentheses and then tack on the 3 in the front way at the end. Let's begin. So we'll take that 8x squared minus 2x minus 3 and factor it the same way that we just did. First, we'll take the 8, multiply to the 3, which gives us that 24. And we want to look for two numbers that multiplies to negative 24 and at the same time gives us the sum of negative 2. And those two numbers are negative 6 and 4. So we want to go ahead and factor x squared minus 2x minus 24 into x minus 6 times x plus 4. Next, that 8 that we use to multiply to the 3, we want to go ahead and divide that 6 by 8 and the 4 by 8 also. Next, go ahead and reduce these two fractions, which will become 3 over 4 
and one half. Take the denominator, the four, tack it on or put it in front of the x. Take the two, put it in front of the x where we end up getting 4x minus 3, again, the 4 is from that denominator right there, times 2x plus 1. Only thing left to do is to take that 3 that we had or factor out in the beginning and put it in front of the factor form. Therefore, the final factor form of 2x squared minus 6x minus 9 is 3 times 4x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. In this last part of the lesson, I want to show you a way to factor a trinomial that I'm sure you've seen in other YouTube videos. In the other videos, I explain why this method works and how this method works. But here, I just want to show you how to get the factor form of this trinomial, especially when the C value right here has many different factors. Let's begin. We'll begin with that 20. Okay, the b value or the number in front of the x will take that and then divide it by 2. In this case, 20 divided by 2 is 10. Then we'll take that value or 10, square it, and then subtract the c value or 96, which of course is 4. Now we'll take that 4, take the square root of it, which again is 2. Now here's the final part. What we want to do is Take that 10 that we found earlier and put it here and here, meaning write it down as x plus 10 and x plus 10. Final, finally, we'll take that 2, put it here as plus 2, and then put it here, there's the important part again, minus 2. Notice that 2, we put the plus version here and the minus version here. To recap, Take the b value, the 20, divided by 2. Put that number here as x plus 10 and x plus 10. Next, take that 10, square it, and subtract the c value, which is 4, square root that, and then take that square rooted value as plus 2 after the 10 and minus 2. So we're adding a 2 and subtracting a 2 from the 10 that we figured out earlier. If we simplify this, we end up getting x plus 12 and x plus 8, which of course is the factor form of x squared plus 20x plus 96. So I hope these uh, methods will help you in getting the job done quickly. And of course, you should learn why these methods work or how factoring works. That is important. But once you've learned that, and if you need to know how to get the job done or just how to find the factor form quickly because you're in that next level math, um, these methods will definitely come in handy.